This is our management midterm presentation for Team 5. Our story involves Joe, who is a novice investor and learns of a new investment company in town on the TV show Mad Money with Jim Cramer. Our show is based on the story of a novice investor, Joe, who has very strong opinions about many things in life, especially about how his money should be handled. He has based many of his opinions on how the stock market works more on what he sees in the movies and less about how it happens in real life. He is convinced that if he puts his money into aggressive stocks, the market will naturally do its job and double his money. His financial advisor, Bill, warns him again and again that he needs to diversify and think long term. Advice Joe quickly sweeps under the rug. After seeing very quick gains early on in an overall bullish market, reality sets in on the risk he has taken when Joe's holdings begin to plummet. He begins to throw good money after bad instead of viewing his losses as sunk cost and continues to get in deeper and deeper. After his wife Betty becomes frustrated with her lack of knowledge with investments, she takes it upon herself to learn more and writes the ship before Joe loses everything they have. With our show, we are targeting young professionals. We want to inform young people who are making a decent amount of money for the first time the value of a good financial advisor, and that they should not be handling investments on their own without first learning about the risk of the stock market. Our show will be formatted through four episodes that take you on the emotional roller coaster of the stock market when you put all of your eggs in one basket. From the joy of making rapid gains to the sickening feeling of losing it all. The main character of our story is Joe. Joe is smart and very stubborn. He is very polite and professional. However, when his mind is made up, he cannot be swayed. Joe is a good father and husband who cares very much about his family. He is usually very conservative, but sometimes takes risks and gambles with his money. In this show, we are going to go on a journey with Joe through the process of setting up an investment account, then riding the roller coaster of the market when you have invested all of your money in one sector. Betty is Joe's wife. She is introverted and sweet. Betty knows very well her lack of knowledge of finances and investments. Working as a secretary for a dentist's office, Betty regards herself as a behind-the-scenes type worker. She pref prefers to trust leadership and management when it comes to big decisions. She prefers to take a step back in important situations, leaving all their finances and major household decisions on her husband. In the show, Betty supports her husband's decision to open an investment account and invest in aggressive stocks. However, she is secretly a little nervous that this particular investment plan may be a little bit too risky. Bill is a middle-aged man who has done very well for himself. He has a very successful career as a financial advisor and was promoted to general manager. From years in the financial industry, he has been trained to do everything in the book. He has a real compassion for his clients and wants the best for them. Bill is also responsible for hiring and recently hired a new employee named Lucas. In the show, Bill has to juggle between his new investor, Joe, and his new employee, Lucas. Lucas is training with Bill at the investment firm. He is a young college graduate with a lot of energy and motivation, but not a lot of work experience. In the interview process, Lucas seemed like the perfect candidate for the position he is in now. Since taking the job, however, Lucas has been overzealous and more like an aggressive car salesman. Lucas also thinks that because he went to an elite school that he is smarter than everyone else.
Sally is Joe and Betty Wilson's sweet elderly neighbor. Sally is always watching over Joe, Betty, and their two children. She walks her dogs every morning and evening, saying her hellos to all the neighbors. She witnesses the financial climaxes and reductions the Wilsons are going through. She is just trying to protect their family and tries to influence Joe to slow down from his stock market addiction. Joe tries to avoid Sally as much as possible to avoid being lectured about his finances. Judy is the quintessential employee. She does everything by the book and gets along well with everybody in the office. Judy is responsible for all of the HR operations of the investment firm. Nancy is a co-worker at Betty's office in charge of finances. A very knowledgeable and kind lady, Nancy has a very good relationship in her office and is more than willing to show Betty how finances work. In episode one, Joe meets with Bill, the general manager of investing done right. He tells Bill that he has recently received a $50,000 bonus from work and he is looking to open an investment account. Bill sits down with him and goes over his investment objectives to see what he is looking to do. Joe tells him that he is looking to double his money as quickly as possible for his children's college education. He tells him he wants to put all of the money in small cap stocks because he heard that is what is most aggressive and that's what will earn returns the quickest. Bill tells him this is a very bad strategy. To put all of your money in one sector of the market is way too risky and he needs to diversify it. Joe tells him that he has researched this plenty and this is what he wants to do. Bill continues to try and talk him out of it, but in the end, Joe is very set in what he wants to do, and he tells Bill to invest all of his money in the small cap stocks, like he said. In episode two, after investing all of his money in the stocks that Bill advised against, Joe sees huge gains. Bill is happy for Joe, but again tries to get him out of the risky stocks. He advises that Joe sell 75% of the stocks and invest them in safer securities. That way he is properly diversified. He still has 25% in the small caps that he desires so he can take advantage of the market gains in that sector. This does not make sense to Joe and he begins looking for ways to get more money to invest in the same stocks. In episode 3, Joe's wife Betty begins to ask questions about how he has invested his bonus. He tells her about his plan of putting it all in small cap stocks and tells her how much he has gained even though Bill, their financial advisor, has told him not to do it. He tells her he's doing it so he can pay for the children's education and it is worth the risk. She is skeptical, thinking that he should listen to Bill and questions why he wouldn't listen to somebody with so much experience. He tells her that he knows what he's doing and uses the recent gains as proof that his plan will work. Episode 4. The more Joe talks about the small cap investments, the more Betty realizes how little she knows about finances. Disgruntled, she decides to do her own research in order to feel more informed on the matter. She begins to consult with staff members at her office who is in charge of finances. She decides she wants to know everything. She shadows under her coworker Nancy to learn more about the paychecks, taxes, social security of employees, as well as the financial circumstances of the business. She looks at their quarterly financial reports to go over investment gains and losses and tells her she wants to know everything from top to bottom so that she can make an informed presentation when she talks to Joe. 